Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Today I am at a new location. I am outside and yes, it is extremely hot out here, but this was a trip well worth making. I am at the headquarters of Tank Commander BT. You can check that uh, YouTube channel out. I'll put a link to it down in the description. And today I have brought with me the Tank Buster. I built that in the last video. And if you haven't seen that build video, I'll put a link to that also down in the description. But we got something else here today. You can see a little bit of it right here. We got a tank, so we're gonna have some fun. Fire up that tank buster, so don't miss it. So if you remember in the last video, I finished the tank buster. I had it all completed. All I needed to do was slap a coat of paint on it and bring it up here to Tank Commander's headquarters. I did add a few things to it off camera at the last minute. One of those is a little plate with some hose clamps on it. That is to hold the air tank down and I can mount that on the hood instead of on the paintball marker. And I also added a remote line with a quick disconnect so that I can connect the air tank to the paintball marker rather quickly. So now that I'm here, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get on one of these track vehicles and ride it around for a little bit. Now, if you're interested in these types of projects with the tracked vehicles, please go over to Tank Commander's YouTube page and watch his videos over there. I've got a link down in the description. And also let me know in the comments because I've been thinking about building one of these tracked vehicles for quite some time. And that's one of the reasons why I went to Tank Commander's because I wanted to drive one of these vehicles and see one in person. So the plan was when I got to Tank Commander's headquarters, we were gonna have a little one-on-one -on -one paintball tank battle. Well, unfortunately, Lowell had been in the hospital recently and he wasn't physically able to repair the tanks so that we could do that. Uh, in fact, only one tank ran and he was the only one who was really able to maneuver it around and the cannon on that tank didn't fire. 
So we decided we'd just do the next best thing and just have some fun with what we had on hand. And that was the little mini tank buster and his tank. And we just kind of drove him around and kind of simulated a little miniature paintball tank battle. So that little tank buster did a pretty good job of shooting up the tank. Looks like I got the level set just right. It never really went below the tracks. And as you can see, this thing is covered in paint. Who says you're safe inside of a paintball tank? Look how much paint got launched inside of this thing while Lowell was driving it. <laughs> That's a pretty big mess if you ask me. <laughs> I think Lowell's covered in paint covered too. In paint. I think I have as much as the tank. All right, so it's been a long, hot, hard day out here. We've been playing with this tank buster and these tanks all day long. Uh, as you can see, the tank behind me is just covered in paint. Uh, we had a blast. I'd like to thank Lowell Mitchell at Tank Commander BT. Remember, I've got a link down to his channel in the description of this video. If you want to see more on these tanks, he's got uh, the MAV. You saw me driving that around a little while. Uh, he's got the tanks. Go check out his channel if you're interested in this stuff. Uh, it's pretty interesting, and he'd love it for you to go over there, check it out, and subscribe to his channel. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, and if you aren't a subscriber, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos, and thanks for watching.